This is it. Opening day. The regular season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right, and the Hall of Famer David Aldridge along the sideline. And here's the upcoming schedule for Charlotte. On Friday, it'll be the Detroit Pistons coming into town. Then on Monday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Outside, the wings are Murray and Hunter. A-Train is out there with Johnson. And it's Young in at the one spot. And for the Hornets. Up of the forward spot, it's Hayward and Bridges. Scott is out there with Ball. And it's Williams at the five. And game one of the NBA season, Greg, is here. Does everyone get butterflies or is it just me? No, I'm, I'm right there with you, partner. It, the anticipation has been brewing for months. Nothing like over the night. the Hawks to start out Young with the ball Johnson surveying the floor dishes at Demur five to shoot it's rebounded by Charlotte and this matchup with the Hawks is their first game of the NBA's regular season a division battle these two squads play each other four times this season. Now, here's Bridges. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And it's the Hawks' ball. Murray outside. Shoots over ball. Murray, no good. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. Hayward kicks to ball. Williams passes the ball. There's the dish to Bridges. That falls. Nice feed that time from ball. Bridges has got the first bucket of the game with the three for Charlotte. Murray against ball. Johnson with a screen on ball. Johnson gets the bucket. That's a good read by Murray. Not having to think about it. He just reacts. Now, here's Scott. Pass to Bridges. Bridges a screen on Hunter. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Johnson. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Hornets. One shot. Miles Bridges. One shot. And Bridges no good on that one. I tell you, Bridges... You see the athleticism, the improving skill set, and the instincts are coming along. Here's Gonzalez. A shot goes in. First shot, first basket. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Steve, thinking back to the 2018 draft, Atlanta made a trade that day with major ramifications. Kevin, yes, they did. At the core of it, it was young for Doncic. It might have been easy to second guess at first, but Young has had an enormous impact on the Hawks. And it's the Hornets ball. Who's watching here? Outside ball. Outside Scott from deep. No good on that one. Hawks have gone two for four from the field so far today. 
There's the lob to the hoop. Taken away by Williams. Ball feeling it out a bit. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Yeah, three for four now. I like the pace for them on offense. Johnson finds Murray. It's Young on the wing, defended by Scott. Just five on the clock. Young, no good. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. And so it's Young who brings it up for Atlanta. They trail by three. Hunter, the pass to Young. And here is Murray. Outside, Gonzalez over Williams. Gonzalez, that's good. Gonzalez has got his second basket. Great vision. Murray's such a complete player. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. The pass to Scott. Bridges sets the screen for Prez. Second chance shot. And the layup is good. Also points count just like any others. That's a great play. Pass to Young. Outside, Gonzalez. The kick out to Young. And he hits it to tie the game up. We don't see a ton of Young in the corner. Trey might have tricked the D right there. Here's Scott. Pass to Bridges. To the middle. And it's slammed in by Bridges. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. That's how you drive your point home right there. For Atlanta, they've gone 4 of 7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Johnson with a screen on Scott. Back to Johnson. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Johnson's got his second bucket tonight. I love that Trey Young puts his passes on target and in spots where his teammates are comfortable playing. And the Hornets with possession here. Here's Scott. Kicks the ball. Pass to Williams. Charlotte moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Ball with the bucket. The graceful touch on the floater. Ball making it look easy. Hawks have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Murray, the pass to Gonzalez. Young outside. Wide open look here for Murray. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Here is Scott. He kicks the ball. Hunter against Scott. Back to ball. Rejected by Gonzalez. Hunter on the wing. Good on the triple. A 42% three-point shooter in college. Hunter continues to shine beyond the arc. Charlotte has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Williams has a screen for ball. He's looking for Williams and finds him. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. The Hawks have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. To the wing on the left. And the call will be against LaMelo Ball. That's his first foul. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough.
and Atlanta has possession. They trail by one. Hunter against Hayward. Gonzalez's shot is off. For Charlotte, they've gone 7 of 11 for the field to begin the game. Ball against Murray. Let's it fly. The offensive rebound. Bridges shot. Good. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. The Hawks trail by three. It's Young on the wing. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Ball. And now running up the court. Hayward's pushing it up. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And Gordon Hayward has filled out that frame and a powerful finish through contact. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Hornets. For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game, and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers, spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. The Hawks trail by six. Over to the left wing. Stolen by Ball. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Basket good. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for Atlanta. And Atlanta calls their first timeout of the game. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Charlotte yeah, and take a look here at the numbers for Clint Capella great showing for him last season and he's a shot blocker as well top 20 in that category last season great timing and challenges at the rim and yeah he's one of the most efficient scorers in the league for sure moves without the ball avoids taking the bad shots that's why he was top five in field goal percentage last year outside Bogdanovich The pass to Bay to stop the run. The rebound by Richard. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Martin against Bay. Here's the screen. Miller, that's for two. And Charlotte again with the bucket. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Hey, Greg, what do you like about Brandon Miller's game? You know, Kevin, for me, his combination of length and skill is something every team is looking for. The, the key in his development will be adding strength and enhancing his ability to attack off the bounce. And here's Miller following the three from Bogdan Bogdanovich. Shots good by Miller. Miller's got his second basket of the game. 
They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. The Hawks trail by nine. Now Mills. No scoring in this one. He dishes it to Okongwu. Pass to Bay. And again, Atlanta with the triple. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here is Lowry. Miller, the pass to Richards. Good work defensively by Capella. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. A kicks to Mills. Back to Bay. Launches a three. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Here's Miller. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. The Hawks trail by six. Bay with it. Here's Okongwu. That three off the mark. Miller outside. Lowry passes to Miller. Six on the shot clock. To the right side. Pulls up on the wing. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Perfect vision. Mills getting quicker these days at spotting the open man. There's 154 and left to play in the first quarter. Miller against Bogdanovich. Richards passes to Lowry. And it's Miller in the corner. No good on the three. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for Atlanta. Four-point game. Passes it to Bay. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Persistence from Sadiq. Making sure to still score despite the contact. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Hawks. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And also have to bring up their passing game. They've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. And that one misses. You know, Greg, if you look back at the Hornets' 22-23 season, there was a lot of adversity. Man, that was a tough season for them all around. So many injuries. A lot of young players were forced into bigger roles, but they did get valuable experience out of it. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. And Bogdanovich kicks to Bay. Dishes it to Mills. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Okongwu. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Hornets leading by three. Lowry passes to Washington. Miller outside. 26 seconds left in the first. Basket counts. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Bogdanovich against Miller. Now, here's Bogdanovich. He has five. Five to shoot. Pass to Bay. Over Martin. No good with the elbow jump. It's been all about Miles Bridges for the Hornets. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here.
And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. Looking at what we've seen from the Hornets, what do you think? Way to set the table. Offensively, they dominated on the interior. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. Hornets leading by five. So with Williams on the bench, this is who Steve Clifford has out there. The forwards are Hayward and Washington. Miller is out there with Ish Smith. And it's Richards in at the center, locking down the middle. Now here's Hayward. Washington with the screen on Griffin. To the paint. Out to Smith for three. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. The Hawks trail by 5. Outside, Bogdanovich. Here's Bufkin. Capella with a screen on Smith. Johnson outside. Here's Bogdanovich. The rebound by Richard. Hornets shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Here's the pass to Smith. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Greg, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense, or is it to the rising talent level? Listen, teams are still defending, uh, and the rules might have helped some. There is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and, and doing things we've just never seen before. He misses the free throw. Well, the last time GA the Hornets made the playoffs was back in 2016. And that was during Steve Clifford's first stint with the organization. I'm sure that played a factor in their decision to bring him back as head coach. And the Hornets making a change here. Williams has checked in. And he sinks the second. Since moving to Atlanta in 1968, Greg, the Hawks have never been to the NBA Finals. That is insane, Kevin. I mean, you think back to all the great players they've had from Dominique Wilkins to now Trey Young. Hawks fans are hungry for a trip to the finals. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. For Hornets coach Steve Clifford, the key is defense. He says trying to outscore other teams doesn't work. You have to do the things that take effort, like rebounding, getting loose balls, and putting your body on the line. You've got to build a game that will actually work at the end of the year when you play the important games. Kevin, back to you. All right, D.A., our thanks to you. Here's Smith. Addition now to Hayward. Williams kicks to Hayward. Pass to Washington. Here is Miller. Washington sets the pick for Miller. Fires from deep. And again, Charlotte with the triple. And great job from beyond the arc this quarter. They are now shooting the three at almost 60% for the game. Passes it to Young. Puts up a deep three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Smith on the wing. Defended by Young. Smith dishes to Williams. Williams a screen on Murray. Oh, and the jam by Williams. And not just the score. Miller can dish it as well. Showing great vision on that play. And so Young will bring it up for the Hawks. They trail by nine points. Next up for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. That game is the first and last of their home season. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Bridges, he's checked in for Charlotte. Gonzalez, he's checked in for Atlanta. DeAndre Hunter comes in for A.J. Griffin. Now here's Williams. 
here's Hayward. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. You see, this is where the size of Hayward makes a difference. He's very comfortable working inside. For Charlotte, they have made two and missed two at the line tonight. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. Looking at who's out there now for the Hornets. Paul comes in for Miller, and it's Scott in for Smith. And Hayward, no good on that one. And Smitty, here we have Atlanta consistently knocking on the door in a crowded Eastern Conference. You know, Kevin, they have added talent. Unfortunately, so has the rest of the conference. But Atlanta's still young, and they have room to grow. Here's Ball, following the bucket by the Hawks. Bridges inside. Johnson on him. Bridges kicks to Ball. This one for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Ball's got seven. This looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowed. Johnson sets the screen for Young. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And Trey Young may have taken it personally that he was drafted fifth in that stacked 2018 draft. And G.A., that draft was full of superstars. But you're right, he's played the most NBA games out of the top five picks in that draft. First one falls for him. I respect the resolve of Trey Young. When the game gets tough, he stays strong. When the defense goes at him, he comes back at them. He doesn't back off. And so Young nails them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Ball kicks to Hayward. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. The kick out to Scott. Kept alive. Williams. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Murray surveying the D inside and Johnson with the stop. Beautiful location on the pass as usual. Led his man perfectly. Here's Ball. He has seven. Williams a screen on Murray. Trains the three while he's being fouled, and he might be able to make this a four-point play. So much drive in this game. Ball wants to beat you and make you feel it. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. That's good from Ball. Taken third overall in 2020, LaMelo Ball is a unique player. Like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it than shoot it. Now here's Murray. He's got five. Count that one. Murray's got seven now in this quarter. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. And here are the Hornets now. And here is Ball. Williams sets a screen for Prez. And a miss there on the triple. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. The kick out to Young. Johnson outside. Here's Gonzalez. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Three points. Murray's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Hornets leading by nine. Pass to Scott. Bridges sets the screen for Prez. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Scott's got his third basket of the night right there. 
And that pick takes the D totally out, out. out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight Sorry. over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Give a look now at the 2K leaderboard to see who led the league in assists last year. Second is Trey Young. Very few guys pass the ball better than he did. I mean, he didn't just have eyes in the back of his head. It's almost as if he had them on both sides, too. And the pass to Bay. Now, Hunter. Pass to Murray. Three-pointer. They get the rebound. Gonzalez. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. At the line, two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And he makes both free throws. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Now, here's Scott. He has six. Scott missing again. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. It took him no time at all on that one. Young's got seven points in the game. So smooth with it from the mid-range. Trey Young, just a fantastic score. Hornets leading by seven. Hayward outside. Charlotte moving the ball around. Scott can't get it to go. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Now, here's Scott. Outside, Williams. Passes it to Bridges. Williams, a screen on Bay. Bridget for three. Drains it from beyond the arc. He's got 12. A dangerous score from just about every area. Bridges, very good at capitalizing in a number of ways. Gonzalez's shot is off. Charlotte's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Ball against Young. Ball, the pass to Williams. It's stolen by Gonzalez. Down low. 
And there's Hunter on the assist by Young. Young's got five assists in the game. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. Some changes here for the Hornets. Nick Richards comes in for Williams. And Martin subbed in for Gordon Hayward. And then for Atlanta, Okongwu's checked in for DeAndre Hunter. And it's Mills in for DeJounte Murray. Richards passes the ball. Outside, Martin. Pass to Richards. Just four to shoot. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Scott can't get it to go. The Hawks trail by six. Gonzalez passes to Young. Back to Gonzalez. Now a moment to see the numbers for Trey Young. Coming off a terrific season, he was around 26 points per game, 10 assists, and 3 rebounds. And he is such a huge part of what this team does on offense. Yes, night in and night out, he's their go-to option. He accepts that responsibility and thrives at it. And he makes the first. He's in attack mode, drawing contact now, getting to the line. Something he didn't do at all in the first quarter. Charlotte making some changes. Neil Aquina, he's checked in for LaMelo Ball. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Scott. Atlanta also making some changes here. DeAndre Hunter comes in for Okongwu. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for Patty Mills. Good on both. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. They set the pick. Here's Bridges. Out to the right wing. Neely Kina passes to Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. Can't leave anyone uncovered around Neil Aquina. He is so adept at exploiting situations like that. And the Hawks with possession here. Six-point game. Young looking it over. The pass to Gonzalez. Captain coming off the assist from Young. Young's got six assists in the game. Hornets leading by three. Outside Lowry. 
to the inside. Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. Smart playmaking by Kyle, moving the ball to a guy with a good look. Atlanta's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. And Smitty, what's the intangible that really sets Kyle Lowry apart from the other? GA, his toughness, it's elite. You look at his size, but he plays bigger than his size. He can do things physically that most guards can't. And it's Lowry with the ball, brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Bridges, rejected by Gonzalez. Three on three. Young for three. The Hornets pull it in. Richards got rebound number five here tonight. Young with the steal. Hunter, the pass to Bay. And Bay throws it down. Look at the pass from Hunter, wanting to get his teammates involved. One fifty-six left to play in the first half. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, Kevin. Brandon Miller was a one-and-done in Alabama. He put on numbers and put on weight. He said, coming into college, I couldn't really take bumps, at least not college bumps. I know building muscle mass is key. And he's not done adding muscle and layers to his game. He says it's all about the work. That's the only way you get better. Kevin? That's a good focus. Thanks, D.A. Sinks the three-pointer. That's time 23 out, points out. for A-Train. An exceptional, clever passer. Trey Young won't sleep on a wide-open guy. And the Hornets call time here. Washington, he's checked in for the Hornets. Miller comes in for Cody Martin. Then for the Hawks, Johnson comes in for Sadiq Bey. And Murray subbed in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And it's the Hornets with the ball, trailing by two. Young against Lowry. On the wing, Miller looking to end the run. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. Miller's got 14. And nice mechanics from Miller there. Ready to fire as that pass is coming. Pass to Gonzalez. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. The Hawks have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. Gonzalez going to the line, shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Oh, 
And so he hits both. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Neely Kina kicks to Miller. Richards passes to Miller. Get the teardrop. Outside for Lowry. A shot by Washington, and he's wide open. They shoot again, and the layup is up and in. Richards got it all tied up now for the Hornets. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game. Passes it to Hunter, and stolen by Miller. Here's Nilakina. Nothing on the board. 12 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Outside Lowry. Five on the clock. Washington sets the pick for Lowry. Drops in the tray. And it's a three-point Hornets lead. At just six feet tall, you're going to shoot a lot of contested jumpers. But Lowry's one of the best at getting the space he needs. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Hornets lead by three. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. With Quinn Snyder, coach, they came at you offensively. So what has to change for you defensively? Well, a lot, obviously, with everybody on the floor. Um, you know, they're capable of doing this, but we're not. It's just too easy. We've got to tighten things up as we go along. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Welcome, folks. It's halftime, and the Charlotte Hornets are in the midst of a very close game. Oh, they're playing with a lot of heart, Ernie, and that's showing up in a lot of places, especially on the offensive rebounding. They've been crashing the boards all night, Shaq. And they're living off second chance points. And now let's take a moment. The fans hitting us up on social media. Jet, 355 in the clouds for the Z. Asks, who does a better impression of the other, Kenny or Shaq? Well, I think I do the better impression of just get the ball to the big man. And... Superman is in the building. Oh, that was pretty good. That it's over, pretty baby. Good. <laughs> that was pretty good. You have to have G15 classification or G14 classification if you want to do an impression for the big fella. That's all I'm saying. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. A train has been sensational. And, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. He's been vital to spacing the floor for them. Makes everything else you want to do easier to accomplish. 
And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Hornets leading by three. Checking out the group for Quinn Snyder to start the second half. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. Johnson is out there with a train. And it's Hunter in its small forward. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Murray down low. Defended by Bridges. Murray, good. Clever play by DeJounte. Carving out some space for himself. The Hornets shooting a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. Scott against Young. Now, here's Scott. Guarded closely. And he's good on the three ball. Hayward's got eight points. Not the guy you want to let catch fire. Hayward better be first on your mind. Young finds Murray. Shoots over ball. Good on that shot. And with that, the Hornet lead is cut down to two on the bucket for Murray. Just taking what the defense allows. And that's a shot he'll make all night. Bridges a screen on Hunter. Hayward passes to Bridges. And it's slammed in by Bridges. This is the patience we talk about. Hayward waiting that extra half second. Finds the open man. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Gonzalez passes to Murray. Shoots over ball. And the Hawks getting another basket right there. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. And Steve, one thing you love about Murray is that ability to change a game with just his defense. Greg, between his awareness and his quickness, he's an impact defender. He's active. He's got great anticipation. Just what you want in a perimeter defender. And here's Young after Gordon Hayward hitting the three. Johnson, the basket good. Off the assist from Young. Young's got nine assists now tonight. Hornets leading by three. Pass to Scott. Over Young. And there's another one for the Hornets. Just crushing it here. 80% to start the half. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Murray outside. Over Williams. Williams with the block. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Hayward can hit. The Hawks trail by five. Murray right side. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. They've led by as many as 14 points. Bridges finds Scott. And again, Charlotte with the triple. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Wow! I can't believe that one. That was incredible. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Williams has a screen for Hayward. Feeds to Williams. Outside, ball. Williams, a screen on Murray. Floats it up for Williams. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, good creation by Ball off that pick and roll. He, he can find clever ways to beat the defense. Now Murray. 13 points in the game. Now the pass to Gonzalez. Let's the three fly. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Murray's got six assists now in the game. He has gotten into a terrific groove here, trying to wheel his team back into this. Ball against Murray. On the wing, Williams. Six to shoot. Knocks it loose. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. 
And we've got a moment now to look at the highest scoring teams in the NBA from last season. In the third spot, the Hawks. I just loved how this team attacked their opponents. You could see their confidence grow as the year went on and the points really started to pile up. There's Ball with the three. Nice reaction defensively. Murray with great body control. He's a hard guy to shake. Outside, Ball. Shot clock at five. The kick out to Scott. Buries the long-range jumper. Scott's got eight here in the quarter. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. The Hawks trail by eight. Murray with it. Pass to Young. Murray against Ball. And there's Murray on the assist by Young. Murray's got 16. That's his second three-pointer of the night. One in each half. Trying to keep the defense honest. For Charlotte, they've gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. Williams, a screen on Murray. It's Scott on the wing. Shoots from the baseline. Rebound Atlanta. Gonzalez has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Misses the three. Charlotte leading by five. Bridges dishes the ball. Kicks to Hayward. The three, Bridges, and it's the Hornets another three. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Checked in for Miles Bridges. Then for the Hawks. Okongwu's checked in for Jensen. Bay comes in for DeAndre Hunter. And it's Mills in for Young. The Hawks trail by eight. Murray outside. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Murray against Ball. Driving to the basket. Rejected by Gonzalez. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Just five to shoot. Here's Williams. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Gonzalez has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Now 
here's Mills, defended by Scott. Okongwu with a screen on Scott. Now here's Mills. He's guarded close. The Hawks again can't hit. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Here's Murray. He's got 16. Passes it to Gonzalez. Back to Murray. To the middle. Here's Okongwu. And Okongwu slams it in. Love Murray's scoring potential, but the development of his playmaking may be in an even higher priority. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Hornets. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. And they've also forced a lot of turnovers, capitalizing and turning those turnovers into points. Way to get after it. Atlanta making some changes. Johnson, he's checked in for Okongwu. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Sadiq Bey. And Trey Young subbed in for Patty Mills. Ball hits them both. The Hawks trail by 11. Young outside. Floats it up for Murray. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Charlotte shooting a stellar 60% since the halftime break. Ball, the pass to Miller. Now here's Hayward. 14 points for him. Here's Ball. And a moment here to check out the stats for Hayward. Last year, getting it done. He was around 14 points a game last year. Four assists and four rebounds. Just a fantastic score off the bench. Always a factor in every game he plays. What I love is he heats up quick because when you're on the second unit, you have no time to mess around. First free throw is good. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Gonzalez. Okongwu comes in for Johnson. Baves checked in for DeJounte Murray. And it's Mills in for Young. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And one of the great rebounders in this league, Clint Capella, plays that role as well as anyone. Greg, on a per-minute basis, few players are better. Sharp anticipation works at it, and many of his points come from the offensive glass. Shot clock at six. Bay against him. Bay, no good. Charlotte leading by ten. And here is Scott. 14 points for him. Looking for Hayward. He gets it there. And that one is good. Hayward's got 11 in the second half. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Mills passes to Bogdanovich. Money from the wing. And that's now seven points for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Nice shot. Bogey is pure from any spot on the floor. Charlotte calls timeout.
an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Williams. Washington comes in for Gordon Hayward. Smith checked in for Ball. And Smith subbed in for Scott. So it's the Hornets now. To the left wing. Washington kicks to Miller. Washington with a screen on Bay. And it's Miller penetrating. And yes, it's good. Miller's got 16. And that's the elite shot-making skill from Brandon Miller. Here's Bufkin. Still without a basket. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Miller with the double team. Bogdanovich, no luck. Oh, I don't believe that. He's better than that. Come on. Now Smith. Up top, Washington. That's to Miller. And they call an illegal screen here. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Frank Neely Keen has checked in for Charlotte. Kyle Lowry comes in for Ish Smith. Then for the Hawks, Bruno Fernando's checked in for Okongwu, and A.J. Griffin subbed in for Bay. Pass to Bufkin. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Good on the shot, and that shaved the lead to single digits. Ten points for him. Oh, he is so good from deep. Bogdan is even better shooting out of the corner. There's another turnover by the Hornets. Now let's take a look at the most efficient scores in the NBA from last year's campaign. The fourth spot held by Clint Capella. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you. The pass to Bogdanovich. The feed to Capella. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Now, here's Lowry. He's covered closely. Back to Miller. Lock at six. Outside Lowry. From outside, off the mark. The Hawks trail by seven. Griffin kicks to Capella. Here's Bufkin. Now recovering. Screen by Capella. Bogdanovich. That's for two. The putback. And it's put back up and in by Capella. It's a joy to watch how active Capella is on offense. Fighting for the boards and saving that play. Passes to Washington. Miller outside. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. And with his diverse game and 6'9 frame, Brandon Miller can score in bunches. And on nights like tonight, it's really hard to get someone to match up with him. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. to Bufkin. Capella with a screen on low. Down low. High arcing shot. Good on that shot. And with that, the Hornet lead has got down to five on the bucket from Capella. Here's Lowry. There's 38 seconds left to play in the third. Pass to Miller. Four on the shot clock. Washington sets the pick for Miller. No good from outside. Outside Bogdanovich. Shot. 
can't hit from in close. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. It's Charlotte up by five. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to permit that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Bridges out there with Miller. Then it's Ball, then it's Williams, and it's Scott in at the one. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. Back to Ball. Williams, a screen on Murray. Ball from long range. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Out of bounds, Charlotte takes possession. Charlotte leading by five. Ball with it. The pass to Scott. Miller with a wide open look. A three-pointer off the mark. He started off solid. Had two threes at halftime, but blank from deep since. Inside, Murray. That's in coming off the assist from Young. And that's 20 points for DeJounte Murray. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Murray against Ball. Outside, Scott. Connects from three-point range. Scott's got 11 points here in just the second half. And there's one aspect of the game LaMelo's not going to ignore. Keeping his teammates involved and the offense working as a unit. Young against Scott. Cabela kicks to Johnson. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Just five on the clock. Shots good from Young. Yeah, back to back threes. Trey Young welcomes this duel because they're usually to his advantage. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Charlotte. Outside, Scott. Over Hunter. They get it back. The shot's good. And the Hornets lead by five. Relentless on the offensive glass. And then you love the finish. Scott against Young. loose and Prez with a clear path to the hoop yeah the defender all over to foul Trey Young first personal foul first team foul at the line for your Hornets go First free throw is good. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Miller. Gonzalez, he's checked in for Atlanta. Scott hits them both. Here's Murray. 
Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Wound up there for Johnson. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Hornets leading by five. To the paint, here's Bridges. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got six assists now in the game. The Hawks have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. with an update from the sidelines. Let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thank you, David. Johnson outside. Hunter kicks to Young. He dishes it to Murray. And they pick up two. Murray's got four points now in the quarter. This is the potential DeJounte Murray has. When he's filling it, he can shoulder the offense. Now, here's Ball. Pass to Scott. Bridges sets the screen for Craig. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Gonzalez has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Johnson with a screen on Scott. Young pass to Johnson. A stupendous finish in traffic. Now just a three-point Hornets lead. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Outside, Scott lets it go with a three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his seventh assist here tonight. Here's Murray. to Johnson. Johnson with a screen on Scott. Back to Johnson. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. So crafty coming off the pick. Young gets the passing angle he needs. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They're led by as many as 14 points. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. Murray against Ball. And it's Murray with the jam. 
You see it right there. One of Murray's biggest advantage is his lift off the floor. Charlotte's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. To the inside. And there's Bridges on the assist by Ball. Bridges has got four points in the quarter. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. The Hawks trail by four. Pass to Johnson. Johnson with a screen on ball. Puts it up from 15. And Atlanta again with the bucket. He's unguardable. Nobody been able to contain him here in the fourth quarter. Now four of five from the field. Hayward passes to Bridges. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Aggressive. Just an attacker. Bridges wants the rock, especially near the rim. Hawks have gone on a tear here in the fourth. They're eight of nine on field goal attempts in the quarter. Shoots from the line. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Ball dishes to Williams. Back to Ball. The kick out to Scott. And Young comes over to help. And it's Jalen Johnson with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Second team foul. Murray against Ball. And the pass to Bridges. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's the Hornets, another three. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. The Hawks trail by seven. Hunter with a screen on Scott. Young pass to Gonzalez. Johnson, it's good on the putback. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Ball against Murray. Ball kicks to Scott. Jacks up a three. Rebound Atlanta. Gonzalez has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after him. Here's Murray. Gets the bucket and the foul. LaMelo Ball picks one up. Wiry strong. If you're going to get physical with Murray, you better go the rest of the way to prevent the and one. DeJounte Murray at the line for one. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. No shot. And a guy who fills up the stat sheet across the board, Steve, DeJounte Murray. His length and athleticism shows up at both ends, Kevin. A good rebounder for a guard. And beyond the numbers, he comes up with some clutch plays. Bridges, no one around him. Off target from three-point range. Here's Gonzalez. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Charlotte in the lead. And here is Ball. Beyond the arc. That's all good. And that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. Yeah, that's too good a look to get him from behind the arc. Young finds Murray. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. Misread each other on the pass. Tried to recover, but too late. Charlotte leading by five. Hayward passes the ball. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Scott. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Fourth personal foul and the third team foul. At the line. Two 
That's good from Scott. Scott hits them both. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Johnson sets the screen from her to the middle. The kick out to Young. Johnson with a screen on Scott. Hunter on the wing. The basket good off the assist from Young. Superb communication between Hunter and his teammates. They set him up so well. Here's Ball. Hayward outside. To the paint. Scott, good. And it's 29 points for Preds. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. Out left of the wing. And they double up Murray. Hunter, no one around him. Another three for Atlanta. That's Hunter's spot. Very comfortable from there. And the Hornets call time here. in for the Hornets. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Is it to Miller? Bridges outside. Here's Scott. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. Yeah, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's, that's how they saw it. Here's Young. To the left side wing. Johnson outside. Here's Gonzalez, and he dunks it down. That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass. And that's a nice reward for his effort. Uh, the flush, perfect. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Murray against Ball. Outside, Scott. Back to Ball. Miller against Hunter. And Young comes over to help. Shot clock at three. Bridges misses. The Hawks trail by three. Hawks passing it around. Shoots. Gonzalez's shot is off. Hornets shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots, and they're hitting it. It's stolen by Gonzalez. 
And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. Here's Johnson. Unable to get that one. Nice D from Scott. Hornets lead by three. Here's Williams. Back to Scott. And Gonzalez pulls it down. It's Young on the wing. There's a good screen. Back to Gonzalez to tie it up. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Bridges got seven rebounds in the game. Ball, the pass to Scott over Young. That's good from Prez on the assist from Ball. Ball's got nine assists now tonight. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're down by five. 151 left here in the fourth quarter. switch here. Capella's checked in. against Scott. 143 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Capella with a screen on Scott. Young pass to Capella. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got seven rebounds in the game. Capella with the bucket. A proven veteran. Capella doesn't get nervous about taking big time shots for his squad. Bridges a screen on Murray. Ball dishes to Miller. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. And that's now 21 points from Brandon Miller. Scott against Young. Capella with a screen on Scott and Young. Here we go. And the basket is good. Incredible competitor. Trey Young always wants to be the one to take this shot. Now, ball. 58 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside, Scott. Hits the mark. The three. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Murray. It falls. And he has brought them to within two points. Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Guys, it's come down here to a very important possession. No room for error. Ball against Murray. Nice discipline defensively for Capella. Does a great job of contesting shots without fouling. Just no chance there for the defense. Major size disadvantage. He's got no business trying to stop that slam. Just get out of the way. Charlotte calls timeout. 
It's tied at 133. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Ball. And here's Miller outside. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. We'll be back shortly live from Spectrum Center. battle tooth and nail for four quarters and now we head to overtime should be a blast outside the wings are Murray and Hunter a train is out there with Johnson and it's young in at the point outside Gonzalez Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. On the wing, Bridges. Here's Scott. And the three off target. And here's Hunter. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. The lead is two. Down low. Again, the Hawks good for two. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Hornets shooting has been fun to watch in this game. They're at 57%. Outside, Scott. The pointer gets the three-pointer to fall. Scott's got 36. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Murray against Ball. Left side Gonzalez. Shoots. And Atlanta again with the bucket. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Here's Ball. And he uses the glass on the layup. Ball's got 19 points. Looking poised on the finish. Ball is a problem when he's knocking that down. About 90 seconds off the clock here in the extra period. Scott against Young. Freeze, freeze, freeze. 
Pass to Murray. Johnson in the corner. Five on the clock. Deft touch on the alley -oop. Oh, can we get a load of that one? Take that play and put it in the alley -oop textbook, boys. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. Hornets trail by three. Overtime and full swing here. Two minutes off the clock. It's stolen by Gonzalez. Pass to Murray. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. Charlotte's gone one of two so far in their three-point attempts in overtime. Scott the pass to Bridges. Back to Scott. Shoots it up. And Charlotte again with the bucket. And he just seems to always deliver in the clutch. And he's got it going right now. That's who they want taking the big shot. It's Young on the wing, defended by Scott. Johnson outside. There's the three. Hornets with the rebound. Ball up top. He's covered by Murray, and it's slammed in by Bridges. There's a fearlessness that Bridges brings to this team. He just welcomes the chance to take important shots. We're now about three minutes into this overtime period. It's Young on the wing. Two minutes remaining. Here's the pass to Gonzalez. Five to shoot. Murray picks to Young. The Hawks working the ball around. Johnson. The Hawks again can't hit. For Charlotte, they've gone a stellar four or five in the floor since the start of overtime. Bridges a screen on Hunter. Hayward passes the ball. Back to Hayward for the three, and it's the Hornets, another three. Hayward's team looks to him to score in these situations. Just a gutsy player who takes these challenges head on. Hunter sets a screen for Young. To end the run. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Bridges a screen on Murray. Hayward outside. Outside, Scott. Right side, ball. Offensive rebound, brilliant. There's no bigger play in a close game than a putback slam. Oh, and that one's got them all hyped up. Wow. They're bringing the energy, the hustle, the fight, and they also didn't give up on that possession. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. 50 seconds left in the first overtime.
Murray with it. He feeds it to Johnson. A shot off that time. Bridges with some nice defense. And they go to the intentional foul. And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They've led by as many as 14 points. And so they choose to intentionally foul. The first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And so both free throws are good, and it's a six-point ball game. Good job. Want to keep fueling that lead. Make your free throws. Young finds Hunter. For three, Murray. It's in! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Wow, give it to Murray. He knows what to do with it. And they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. And the third team. and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. And he steps up and knocks them down, making it a two-possession game. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're behind by five. 19 seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting 
their offense. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. And that's an intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. And so Young will bring it up for Atlanta. For three, Hunter. Atlanta again, missing. And they've been a different team here in overtime. They just seem to have lost their energy. So it's the Hornets picking up the win. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for them in overtime. They probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire. But give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime. And, and this win has to feel satisfying. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Gordon, a very satisfying and necessary win for you guys tonight. Great win for us. It's always good to get a win. And uh, proud of the way we fought. Uh, you know, they made their run, but we closed it out well. Great showing for you. Congratulations, Gordon. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Miles Bridges.